Eight men are facing charges for trying to buy sex online. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost announced their arrest today as part of a human trafficking sting in Trumbull County. All eight were arrested over one day when they tried to meet up for sex, but instead were intercepted by law enforcement. And if these men are convicted, they could soon become part of a registry of people in Ohio found guilty of soliciting sex. Proposed legislation would make offenders' names and pictures public for five years after a conviction. News 5's Olivia Fecto tells us State Attorney General Dave Yost, along with victim advocates, say this could help reduce demand for sex trafficking in Ohio. Attorney General Dave Yost has one question for people who are buying sex. The question that I have is, would you be doing that if your mama knew about it? With this John's registry, she's going to know. That proposed registry is currently being considered by Ohio lawmakers. If it becomes law, anyone convicted of buying sex or promoting prostitution in Ohio would be put onto a registry. Their names, photos, addresses, and crimes made public. Human trafficking happens in the shadows, and people don't see it. Uh, so this is taking it out of the shadows and helping to, to shine the light on it. Yost says it's all about supply and demand, and this registry could help reduce the demand side of that equation. I think public shaming is a deterrent. I think we've seen that with the sex offender registry. Sandra Miller is the president and CEO of the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center, which also houses the Project STAR program, offering a local anonymous hotline for survivors of sex trafficking and resources to help them get their lives back. She says Ohio ranks fourth for states with the most calls to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. That might not sound like a good thing, but it means Ohioans are reporting these situations when they see them. Some people are horrified by that statistic. My perspective is I would never want to be 50th on the list of states um, that are calling the hotline. Miller says here in Ohio, law enforcement are trained to identify and intervene when they see human trafficking. And while for some people, prostitution may start out as consensual sex work, she says it's not a choice for long. She's grateful lawmakers are now considering how to deal with human trafficking and save lives. I think silence is what allows sexual violence to continue. And it isn't until we start to peck away at the silence that we will start to see the prevalence of sexual assault and sexual abuse, human trafficking start to decrease. Right now, these bills are still being considered, but the attorney general has testified in support of the legislation and hopes it'll become law. Olivia Fecto, News 5.